Nah. Hindi ko mag hindi ko maglapkin ron magkuan ako kaya ron makahanga kung ano ba. Hello, teacher. Okay. Yes, Andy. Oh, sorry, Andy. You cannot see teacher Anne because there's something wrong with my camera. Okay. So today, Andy, okay. we're gonna have listening because yesterday we have speaking. So let us have listening now. Okay. Let us try to do this, Andy. Okay. Are you ready, Andy? Andy boy. Yeah, teacher. Okay. So we have here Andy the word round. Okay, can you see round? round. Okay, round. Okay, next is what is this? Square. 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 Very good. This one, what is this? Custa. Curtain. 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 Very good. Okay. You can use this in your house, the curtain. Next is manager and the secretary. This is the secretary, this girl. Secretary. This secretary. Okay, secretary. Okay, so okay. this one, please listen, Andy. Are you ready to listen? Okay, yeah, ready. go, Andy boy. Ready. Now we are ready to start. Look at question one. One. What is John going to do tonight? Hello, Mrs. Brown. Is John there? No. He's out on his bicycle at the moment. Oh. Can he go swimming tonight? Oh, sorry, Paul. He's got a football match tonight. Now listen again. Hello, Mrs. Brown. Is John there? No. He's out on his bicycle at the moment. Oh. Can he go swimming tonight? Oh, sorry, Paul. He's got a football match tonight. Two. Which is Ben's family? Are you as tall as your sister, Ben? No, she's still taller than me. And what about your brother? Oh, I'm much taller than him. Now listen again. Are you as tall as your sister, Ben? No, she's still taller than me. And what about your brother? Oh, I'm much taller than him. Three. Which bag does the woman buy? I want to buy a present for Diana. What about a bag? Yes, this one's nice. It's small and round. I think she'd prefer a square bag. No, this is better. I'll get the round one. Now listen again. I want to buy a present for Diana. What about a bag? Yes, this one's nice. It's small and round. I think she'd prefer a square bag. No, this is better. I'll get the round one. Four. How much did the woman pay for the apples? Can I help you? Yes. I'd like a pound of apples, please. Do you want the ones at 30 pence, 35 pence or 40 pence? The ones at 30 pence, please. Now listen again. 
Can I help you? Yes. I'd like a pound of apples, please. Do you want the ones at 30 pence, 35 pence or 40 pence? The ones at 30 pence, please. Five. What time does the film start? Hello. Hello, Ray. It's Helen. About tonight. Ah, yes. The film begins at quarter past eight. OK, so I'll meet you outside the cinema at, um, about five to eight. All right. See you then. Now listen again. Hello. Hello, Ray. It's Helen. About tonight. Ah, yes. The film begins at quarter past eight. OK, so I'll meet you outside the cinema at, um, about five to eight. All right. See you then. This is the end of part one. Okay, Andy. Done? Are you finished, Andy boy? Andy? Can you hear me? Yeah, teacher. Okay, yes, what, is teacher. Going, what is John going to do tonight? What is this in the picture? What is John? What is your answer in number one? What is John is going to C. do tonight? Okay, what is he? Can you tell football. me? Okay, playing football. Which nice is football. Ben's family? Oh. C. Oh, it's letter? A. Look at letter A. It is Ben's family. Now, mm -hmm. number three. Which bag does the woman buy, Andy? It's brown bag. Round bag, very good. Yeah, how much did the woman pay for the apples? How much, and the boy? It's 30. It is 30. 30. Okay, 30 pinch, very good. Yay! Okay, next one. What time does the film start, Andy? Is What I time? Four thirty-five. I okay. thirty-five. It is. Wow, very good, Andy. It's three forty-five. Wow, very good. Yes. Okay, so this one, Andy boy. Listen, Andy, to Liz and Michael talking about rooms in hotel. They're going to paint the rooms. What color are they going to paint each room? For question six to ten. Write a letter A next to each person. You will hear the conversation twice. Okay, let us see this one. Now look at part two. Listen to Liz and Michael talking about rooms in a hotel. They are going to paint the rooms. What color are they going to paint each room? For question 6 to 10, write a letter, A to H, next to each room. You will hear the conversation twice. Michael, we must paint some of the rooms in the hotel. Yes, Liz. What color paint shall we have? Well, I think the dining room should be white. Yes, white is best for the dining room. But I'd like something brighter in the television room. What about red? Mm -hmm. I think it should be white too. No, let's have something more interesting in the television room. Do you like yellow? Yes, a light yellow is all right. 
I will also bring my... Now, what about the bedrooms on the first floor? Well, the curtains are dark green. So I think the walls should be light green. Okay. Shall we have the same colour in the second floor bedrooms too? No. Something different. Perhaps grey. Or is blue prettier? All right. A nice light blue on the second floor. And for the office? How about red? Oh, no. That must be grey. You can have red in the kitchen. Fine. At least one room will be my favourite colour. <coughs> now listen again. Michael, we must paint some of the rooms in the hotel. Yes, Liz. What colour paint shall we have? Well, I think the dining room should be white. Yes, white is best for the dining room. But I'd like something brighter in the television room. What about red? Hmm. I think it should be white too. No. Let's have something more interesting in the television room. Do you like yellow? Yes. A light yellow is all right. Now, what about the bedrooms on the first floor? Well, the curtains are dark green. So I think the walls should be light green. OK. Shall we have the same colour in the second floor bedrooms too? No. Something different. Perhaps grey. Or is blue prettier? All right. A nice mm. light blue on the second floor. And for the office? Ah, could I borrow the tablet? How about red? Oh, oh, no. No. That must be grey. You can have red in the kitchen. Fine. At least one room will be my favourite colour. <coughs> This is the end of part two. <laughs> okay. Okay, Richa. Okay, so we have here listening to Liz. Let us have here Liz. Liz is. Is. Okay. Talking about rooms in hotel. They're going to paint the room. So they will change the color. So in the television room, what color do you think? Very good. What color is it? It is color light yellow. It is color light yellow. Okay, light yellow. How about the first floor bedrooms? Dark is dark and green. Okay. It is letter D, light green. Light green. The second floor bedroom is light blue. Okay, it is light blue. It's light blue. Very good. Blue. Light blue. Okay, next is the office. It's letter E, gray. Next, how about the kitchen? The kitchen is color? What is the color it's of the red. kitchen? Red. Very good, Andy boy. Yay. Next one, Andy. Okay. Lesson, Andy, to Sarah talking to her friend Jane about the new job. Oh, so ha Sarah has a new job now. Okay. Please try to listen this one. Okay. Listen, now look at Sarah. part three.
Listen to Sarah talking to her friend Jane about a new job. For questions 11 to 15, tick A, B or C. You will hear the conversation twice. Look at questions 11 to 15 now. You have 20 seconds. Now listen to the conversation. Three six double eight seven nine. Jane, it's Sarah. Are you still looking for a job? Yes, I am actually. Well, my boss, who's the sales manager, needs a new secretary. Oh. Well, tell me something about the job. Well, Jane, it's a full-time job, five days a week. What time do you start in the morning? At nine <coughs> o'clock. <coughs> you can catch the 8.30 train with me. OK. And what's the pay like? I got £180 a week in my last job. Oh, you can earn more here. It's £6 an hour. So that's about... Um, £210 a week. What do you do for lunch, Sarah? Do you take sandwiches? No. We go to a little cafe near the park. And how many weeks holiday do you have? Well, I have four weeks. Some people have five. But when you start, Jane, you only have three. Right, I see. Um, shall I phone the sales manager? Yes. Why not? His name's Mr. Fawcett. What? Fawcett. F-A-W-C-E-T-T. -T. Well, thanks very much. Good luck. Bye, Jane. Bye. Now listen again. Three six double eight seven nine. Jane, it's Sarah. Are you still looking for a job? Yes, I am actually. Well, my boss, who's the sales manager, needs a new secretary. Oh. Well, tell me something about the job. Well, Jane, it's a full-time job. Five days a week. What time do you start in the morning? At nine o'clock. You can catch the 8.30 train with me. OK. And what's the pay like? I got £180 a week in my last job. Oh, you can earn more here. It's £6 an hour. So that's about um, £210 a week. What do you do for lunch, Sarah? Do you take sandwiches? No. We go to a little cafe near the park. And how many weeks holiday do you have? Well, I have four weeks. Some people have five. But when you start, Jane, you only have three. Right, I see. Um, shall I phone the sales manager? Yes, why not? His name's Mr. Fawcett. What? Fawcett. F A W. C E double T. -T. Well, thanks very much. Good luck. Bye, Jane. Bye. Okay. So we have here. Sarah's boss wants. This is a the new... end of part three. Sarah's boss wants a new. Okay, wants a new. Secretary, okay. And, okay, the question, Sarah usually starts work at what time? Oh, you are correct. What time, Andy? What time? It is nine. 
Andy, what time? It is 9 a.m. Okay. In the new job, they ask Andy, in the new job, Jane can earn how much, Andy? Can earn? It's 210 pounds a week. And Sarah has lunch where? Where, Andy boy? Andy, are you there, Andy? Andy, in are you? In cafe. Okay, in a? Cafe. Very good. Okay, do you know where, what is cafe? Do you know what is that? Cafe mm -hmm. is the place where you, what? Where you? Is city. Oh, you will, it is it is in the city, of course. And you will gonna drink coffee. You will gonna eat sandwich in the cafe. Okay, in the new job, Jane can have how many weeks of holiday? It's three weeks of holiday. Three weeks of holiday, teacher Anne. Well, that's very good. The manager's name is Mr. Spelling. Spelling. Fawcett. Very good. F. Oh, can you spell it out, Andy? Please spell. Spell F. F A W C E T. -T. Okay, very good, Andy boy. Okay, so this one. 16 to 20, you will hear a student telephoning a school. Listen and question, complete the question. So, the name of the school, Andy, is International Language School. Please listen because after teacher will gonna see about this. Now look at part four. You will hear a student telephoning a school. Listen and complete questions 16 to 20. You will hear the information twice. Good morning. International Language School. Can I help you? Yes, please. I'd like some information about your school. Certainly. What do you want to know? Well, first, what day does the next course begin? Well, our courses always begin on the first Monday of every month. Let me see. The next course begins on the 3rd of January. That's next week. Yes, that's right. And what time do classes start? Well, they begin at a quarter past nine, so you should be here a little earlier, at about nine o'clock. And I don't have the address. Could you give it to me, please? Yes. The school is at 57 London Road. Just a moment. I've got a map of the town. Could you tell me where London Road is, please? Yes. It's a long road, and we're quite near the station. OK. I'll find it on my map. Thank you very much for your help. You're welcome. Now listen again. Good morning, International Language School. Can I help you? Yes, please. I'd like some information about your school. Certainly. What do you want to know? Well, first, what day does the next course begin? Well, our courses always begin on the first Monday of every month. Let me see. The next course begins on the 3rd of January. That's next week. Yes, that's right. And what time do classes start? Well, they begin at a quarter past nine, so you should be here a little earlier, at about nine o'clock. And I don't have the address. Could you give it to me, please? Yes. The school is at 57 London Road. Just a moment. I've got a map of the town. Could you tell me where London Road is, please? Yes. It's a long road. And we're quite near the station. 
Okay. I'll find it on my map. Thank you very much for your help. You're welcome. This is the end of part four. Okay, teacher. Okay. Name of the school, Andy, is International Language School. And the next course begins what day, Andy? It's the first Monday. Okay, let us see. Oh, Monday, the first Monday. Very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. And classes begin at what time? Okay, the date is? What's the date? Correct. Very good, Andy boy. Andy. It's Please check January capital J. January capital J. Okay? Big letter J. Okay. Classes begins at what time, Andy? It's 9 a.m. Oh, 9.15. Almost. Okay. And address S. What is the address? It's 50. Fifty seven long road. Okay, fifty seven long road. Okay, and it is near the near what? Long road was. Okay, the station. It is near the station, Andy boy. Okay, Andy boy. Okay. Yes, okay. We are not done with this. And so, teacher Ed will say goodbye now. And I will see you on when, Andy? It's Saturday. Okay, it's Saturday. Okay, yay. Yeah, hey, very good. Okay, bye, Andy. Bye, teacher. See you on Saturday.